This bill is not an elections bill. That's not what this bill is about. It's a pension bill. It's the loser liberal pension protection act. That's what this bill is, under the guise of an elections bill. And by the way, this government isn't fooling anyone. To put it in some context, Madam Speaker, we have a deeply, deeply unpopular prime minister in government that uh, is on the verge of facing a massive electoral defeat whenever they have the guts to call the next election. And what that means, of course, is that many of these liberals sitting across the way aren't going to be here after the next election. Now, they have to call an election by October 20th, 2025. But the problem that they have is that the liberals who were elected in 2019, many of whom faced almost certain defeat, don't qualify for their pension. So what do these liberals do? They introduce the Loser Liberal Pension Protection Act so that they push back the election date so that all of a sudden these soon-to-be loser liberals will pad their pockets with a pension. It is about as cynical and about as dishonest as it gets from arguably one of the most cynical and dishonest governments that has ever governed this country. And it is an absolute abuse of the legislative power of this government. And you know what? It constitutes this government, yet again, giving everyday Canadians, as they do every day, the middle finger as they pad their pockets while they, after nine years, have pummeled everyday Canadians and made life less affordable and causing and have caused enormous hurt and pain for Canadians. So, no, contrary to the representation of a member for Winnipeg North, Conservatives will not be supporting the Loser Liberal Pension Protection Act. And with that, I will be moving, seconded by the member for Calgary Shepherd, the following. That the motion be amended by deleting all the words after the word that and substituting the following. The House declined to give second reading to Bill C-65, an act to amend the Canada Elections Act, as the bill delays the next election so that more departing members of Parliament can collect taxpayer-funded pensions, a measure that is particularly offensive at a time when Canadians are struggling due to the NDP Liberal government's inflation, carbon tax, and housing costs. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Order. Order. Mr. Cooper, seconded by Mr. Kamick, moves the following amendment, that the motion be amended by deleting all the words after the word that and substituting the following. The House declined to give a second reading to Bill C-65, an act to amend the Canada Elections Act as the bill delays the next federal election so that more departing members of Parliament can collect taxpayer-funded pensions, a measure that is particularly offensive at, the t at a time when Canadians are struggling due to the NDP Liberal government's inflation, carbon tax, and housing cost. The amendment is in order. Entry Secretary of the Government, House Leader. Well, Madam Speaker, as I said, who am I to defend the 32 Conservatives? 32 Conservative MPs are the biggest benefactor, and yet he's calling us, the Liberals, for defending the, the Conservatives? There's 22 Liberals and 19... Order, order. I, I think that we all want to hear the response, and if not, then I would ask members to, to still not dis disrupt the proceedings. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Liberals. 22, I mean, 32 Conservatives, 
22 liberals, 19 bloc, a half dozen New Democrats. That's the individuals that are affected. That aside, my question to the member is, you know, I don't understand the conservatives as to the last time they brought in legislation. Remember, you tried to get rid of the voter ID card as a way to identify yourself. It's voter suppression, robocalls. Remember Dean Del Mastro let, let out in handcuffs? Madam Speaker, why is it that the Conservative Party doesn't understand the importance of democracy in Canada? Okay, the Honourable Member St. Albert Edmonton. Madam Speaker, I would invite the member to talk to the member for Steveston, Richmond East, and then compare that to the testimony of our former colleague, Kenny Chu, who provided evidence of the Liberal Party amplifying disinformation for the partisan gain of the Liberal Party. So that speaks to the integrity of these Liberals, and if they had any integrity, and if it really wasn't about protecting their pensions, they would support my amendment and remove the loser Liberal protection, Pension Protection Act from the bill. Here, here.